Welcome to a lesson on differential operators. Differentiation can be expressed several ways. For example, given y equals f of x, the derivative is commonly expressed as dy dx y prime df of x dx or f prime of x. There are also other ways. We can express differentiation using the capital letter D. For example, dy dx can be expressed as capital DY. Just keep in mind, capital DY doesn't mean capital D times Y. It indicates the first derivative of Y. The symbol capital D is called a differential operator since it transforms a function into the derivative function. For example, capital D sine x equals cosine x, capital D of x to the fifth minus four x cubed equals five x to the fourth minus 12 x squared. We can also express higher order derivatives using the differential operator capital D. For example, we can express the second derivative of y with respect to x as capital D of capital DY, or more commonly written as capital D squared Y. Again, keep in mind capital D squared Y doesn't indicate capital D squared times Y, it indicates the second derivative of Y. And in general, we can express the nth derivative of Y with respect to x as capital D to the nth Y. And because of the following two derivative properties, which are the derivative of the sum of f of g equals the derivative of f plus the derivative of g, as well as the derivative of a constant c times f equals c times the derivative of f, we can say capital D is a linear differential operator. We can also express differential equations using capital D notation or operator form. For example, if we have the differential equation y double prime plus six y prime minus 16 y equals zero, Using denotation, we can express this as capital D squared y plus six capital D y minus 16 y equals zero. Again, it's very important to remember that capital D squared y as well as capital D y don't represent products, they represent derivative operators being applied to y. Analyzing the denotation, it seems like we can factor because it appears we have a common factor of y, but we don't. Again, we don't have products here involving capital D. These are differential operators. However, we can write this in the form as if it appears we are factoring out y. We can write the differential equation capital D squared y plus six capital D y minus 16 y equals zero as capital D squared plus six capital D minus 16 applied to y equals zero. Again, this isn't a product here. We have operators being applied to y. The reason we can write the differential equation in this form is because of the following function properties. The sum of f and g of x equals f of x plus g of x, f of f of x equals f squared of x, and a constant c times f of x is equal to c times f of x. Again, the important part to remember here is that we don't have a product here. We have operators being applied to y. Capital D squared plus 6d minus 16 is a linear operator, so we can also call it a linear differential operator of the differential equation. And we often write this as l equals capital D squared plus six capital D minus 16. Keep in mind this is only true for linear differential equations. The polynomial expression capital D squared plus six capital D minus 16 can also be referred to as the characteristic polynomial of the differential equation. However, when referring to the characteristic polynomial, we normally use the variable R, not capital D. Before we go, let's take a look at two examples. We're asked to find the linear differential operator of each given linear differential equation. For the first differential equation, we have five x double prime minus one half x equals zero. So using capital D notation, we can write this as five capital D squared x minus one half x equals zero. And again, it appears as if we can factor out a common factor of x, but we can't, but we can still write it as if it appears we have a common factor of x. We can write the differential equation as five d squared minus one half applied to x equals zero. This indicates a linear differential operator is L equals five capital D squared minus one half. And for our second example, we can write the given differential equation using capital D notation as capital D to the fifth Y minus three capital D to the third Y plus capital D Y plus two Y equals zero. Again, it appears as if we can factor out a common factor of Y, which we can't, but we can still write this as if it appears we're factoring out the Y. We can write this in the form of capital D to the fifth minus three capital D cubed plus capital D plus two applied to Y equals zero, which indicates a linear differential operator is L equals capital D to the fifth minus three capital D cubed plus capital D plus two. I hope you found this helpful.